Hi Cancer, welcome to your October New Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we're looking at new love. So that can be, I define it as maybe someone totally new coming into your life. It could be someone that you've just started dating, you're getting to know them. Also could be maybe a crush. Um, it could be a missed opportunity or it even could be somebody who you have known but you've never ever been romantically involved with them so it's not about exes or anyone you've already had a romantic um relationship or whatever with so with this deck here we're going to kind of see what kind of situation that you may uh be in at this time so welcome in cancer hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time cancer sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You can flip it, switch it if it makes sense to cross watchers as well. I guess if you're crushing on a cancer. And like I said, cancer, if something shows up here you're not interested in or it's not resonating, it may not be your reading this time, totally fine. You could just leave it for somebody else and feel free to check out other readings on the channel. All right, cancer, so let's see what we have here. Welcome the new. So this could be about new love. End of an era. relationship dynamics and family changes so I definitely get a sense that some of you maybe in the past you were in a very long-term relationship of some kind and uh, some of you definitely could be single well obviously if you're watching this and this could be about someone new coming into your life all right all right cancer so we're just gonna see what is going on here we're gonna get into the tarot See what all this means for cancer october new love and let's see what oops we got going on here all right let's see cancer new love october let's see let's see all right this one wanted to pop out nine of wands i definitely feel like you've struggled in the past but there's a solid new beginning right there. Ace of Pentacles, something new. Two of Pentacles, a very balanced energy. Page of Pentacles, so a lot of earth energy coming here. And that could be, you know, a solid invitation for a drink, a date, a coffee. Would you like to go somewhere and talk, you know, kind of energy. And the King of Swords, somebody very um, clear, blunt, direct to the point who's not going to mess around. Um, this also could be somebody, maybe you've been divorced in the past or something like that. Uh, this person could be as well. They also could be uh, someone who works in medical, uh, law enforcement, emergency services, maybe even in the military. Um, somebody who works with their mind or is a decision maker or in communications of some kind. Hmm. So let's see, we do have here uh, Capricorn and Gemini showing up. So if it's someone new, you wouldn't really know their sign. But um, let's see. Ooh, the Hierophants. Some of you may meet this person like at church or some sort of uh, religious or spiritual retreat or something like that. Ten of Swords. This definitely has been endings. And the Ten of Wands. Maybe you've both been through, um, like, endings, divorces, you know, endings of long-term relationships. Some of you may be doing, like, functions or going on, like, retreats or whatever with your um, church or your re religious community or whatever. Maybe for divorced people, you know, or something like that. It's kind of like a support group. Two of Cups in Reverse. I don't think you met this person yet. We do have the Devil here, but it's with the Six of Swords. So I definitely feel this energy of moving on from very uh, toxic situations here into a much, much better place. Wow. Okay. All right, Cancer. So let's see what else we need to know here. Tell me more about this new person for Cancer. Could be another ear sign as well. Um... For me, that's Gemini, but it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So let's see. Ace of Pentacles here. The Page of Swords in reverse. Okay. Let's see. The Queen of Swords. Oh my God, we have a match. The King and the Queen of Swords. So like I said, you both could be 
Divorce. Why am I feeling like you're doing, uh, you could be doing something with um, either single parents or like divorced people. It's like like groups or communities and you go out and you do some uh, excursions or something like that. Or you go on retreats or, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but... So we have Aquarius and Libra here. So with the Page of Swords in reverse, I don't think you're going to meet this person online. I don't think it's an online connection because that's kind of like my all things like online kind of card. And it could be someone you haven't even met yet. Like you've never even talked to this person yet. Let's see. King of Cups. That could be you, Cancer. Seven of Pentacles. Why am I feeling like this is going to be the kind of romance or love or connection you've been waiting for with the seven of pentacles page of wants it's going to be very exciting i heard thrilling exciting uh maybe adventurous so let's see we have like i said aquarius libra that king of cups is pisces but it could be you cancer and um sagittarius ace of wands look at that so a lot of new energy coming in here. King of Pentacles in reverse. Definitely can indicate like maybe divorce. But we have three kings here, whether it's upright or not. So I think you're getting ready here to meet like a true emperor, empress, whatever it is for you. Eight of Swords, maybe feeling like a little stuck, unsure about what lies ahead in your love life. Knight of Wands. You could be afraid of like meeting players or, you know, unstable in and out kind of people. But High Priestess here, Intuition, Higher Knowing, and I definitely feel like it could be something you may not see coming, but I also feel like um, this is someone that you've never met before. I keep getting that. So I want to know more about how you may meet this person. Any more information that we need to know here for Cancer about how you may meet this person. Let's see. A new love for Cancer. Seven of Cups in reverse, which is good. Three of Cups. Again, this Three of Cups can be uh, community, socializing, or it could be a celebration. Four of Wands, again, in reverse, indicating that maybe you both have been through some major changes in your home life, uh, relationships. We do have relationship dynamics right there. Nine of Swords, but I'm not feeling any like stressful energies around this. And the sun in reverse. Hmm. Sorry for the creaking chair if you can hear that. Um so the sun is still happiness, you know, a positive outcome. It could be just a delay. Or, you know, feeling a little unsettled, unsure, a little unhappy, but not really stressing about it. But I do see here, um, it's definitely something about around community circles, celebrations, um, socializing or something like that. Hmm. Strength in reverse. Three of wands. Could be happening, you know, three days, three weeks, something like that. There's the emperor, but it's in reverse as well. Interesting. And then the hero in reverse, which is the fool. And then the two of wands is kind of, you both, like, there's that ace of cups. So three aces here, pentacles. Um, we saw the ace of wands, I believe. Yeah, ace of wands, ace of cups, and the ace of pentacles. Wow. And now here's the king of wands. So we did see all four kings here, which is an emperor, but the emperor's in reverse. Why am I feeling like you both may, like, meet each other? And feel like some sort of uh, camaraderie with each other or something like that. But feeling a little unsure, you know, to take that leap of faith. So I don't know if it's really soon after maybe you've both gone through something. But we have a uh, Leo energy here. So tell me more. So, hmm. I keep getting, it's either through, uh, you may meet this person. So if you're going to any kind of social gatherings, community events, a celebration, or some sort of event in some way, shape, or form, it could be like three weeks. I would say th sometimes it could be three days, three weeks, maybe three months, but that's kind of far out. But let's see. Or maybe it's something on the third. All right, let's see. 
what else do we need to know for cancer about this new love what else do we need to know three of wands yeah okay so that's just clarifying that All right i'm getting repainted cards here so let me shuffle these up let's see two threes three and three could be the 30th the third three days three weeks um, let's see a date ending in three three so oh my god <laughs> three is so, so th i think this is fair just saying if you're going to something and it has a three in it we'll just say it that way or it's in like three days you, from you see this or three weeks maybe three months but um this definitely could be for you let's see king of wands see there's going to be that initial attraction chemistry and it's going to be rather a big surprise here shock maybe something you're both not ready for but it happens here but the energy is here to manifest a new beginning so something here is manifesting you both may be a little ap apprehensive we'll put it that way cautious not sure oh this is unexpected was expected to meet somebody having some great camaraderie king queen of so it's a great conversation intellectual insights definitely on the same wavelength and it could be very unexpected for the two of you but we do have that king queen of swords which is a match so we have gemini virgo aries leo yeah emperor in reverse just feeling hesitation here whoops but then there's a wheel of fortune so something is fated destined divine timing things meant to be getting better moving in the right direction this is my positive movement for a uh, positive movement forward card it's also luck growth and expansion strength and reverses maybe not feeling confident enough but you have the ten of cups here which this could be a really good outcome but see there's a hesitancy of like hmm not sure not sure all right so let's see what else we need to know Sir, what we do have the three of swords here i'm not feeling like um i mean that's usually heartache pain disappointment blah 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 but i'm kind of feeling maybe you've both been through that in the past so that's why you could both be a little hesitant about uh embarking on like this new connection that you're feeling with this person but let's see let's see but it's saying here to welcome the new so all right so it could be you know maybe you both have family so it could be blending of families that could be something you know if you have children they have children um blending families could you know maybe a little worried about that well if i get in a relationship with somebody and we both have children how's that going to work five of pentacles but that could be loneliness and lack there's a lovers there's that connection so you both be, could be feeling a little bit lonely like you know i wish i had a friend or somebody in my life to share some happy times with the fool in reverse again but a little little hesitant here to take that leap all right let me i know i'm looking but i just don't like to keep getting repeating cards here but let's see let me shuffle these again all right so i did see the two of cups in reverse and the five of cups so death so definitely endings new beginnings transformation here i'm definitely feeling that and then we've got the five of cups showing up again so yeah that wanted to come out so definitely this is a time of transformation embracing the new welcoming the new you know endings and new beginnings here so there has been you know two two of the like five of pentacles five of swords uh five of cups i mean that is like the lack sadness grief kind of energy but that is also change and the at five five ten endings and new beginnings so but have to be willing you know it could be a little bit of question here not just jumping too quickly in just kind of taking it slow with the full in reverse but we do have the uh, connection here with the lovers so we do have here scorpio aquarius and gemini in the fool is zero that's always for me uh, like it's like a zero time frame it could be any time now all right let's see oh temperance definitely is soulmate alignment peace harmony joy love light balance and patience bringing soulmates together at just the right time could even be past life it's healing and there's that ace of wands again exciting new beginning 
Six of Swords, that really can move into a really uh, positive place here. Eight of Pentacles, you know, it's about, you know, putting in the work, taking our time, not rushing. And the Star, again, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, faith, hope, optimism. Wishes, dreams come true, healing, balance. Three of Pentacles, just, you know, soul growth, nothing wrong with that. But we do have the Knight of Cups here, according, dating, getting to know, same, romantic gestures. All right, so we do have uh, Sagittarius energy here as well. So that is a 14, which is 5. Did we see the wheel? Or is that a few minutes ago? I don't know. Anyway, um, definitely could be by Sagittarius season, which is December, end of November, into December. No, yeah, end of November, into December. Yeah, so that, which really is not that far away. All right, so we're going to see what else we need to know with this deck. So if this did resonate for you, Cancer, or you enjoy this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly, truly appreciated, and I thank you. And everything you absolutely need to know about me in this channel is down below in the description box. All right, so check that out. All right, Cancer. Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So hmm, I, I'm feeling with this King, Queen of Swords, I mean, that is about honesty. So two people being very open and honest with each other, which could lead to some great communication. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Hmm. I didn't sense any jealousy here, but all right, let's see. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to, and that's about not giving up. Keep moving forward. Don't let anybody's, like, other people around you with they're jealous or have jealous of maybe a new person that you meet or whatever. You know, don't let that, you know, get to you either. Happiness. I am aware that happy mean that being happy means that I am on the right path. So don't give up because you're going to be happy here. Very honest energy with this new person, which looks really good in acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. So, and maybe it may start out as a friendship. Who knows? But um, I do see a happy outcome here. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I'm wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time. <laughs>